This is Steve Schiffman, and I want to thank you again for joining me on this daily, at least I hope it's daily for you, podcast webcast that we put out for you as a salesperson to help you make more sales, and if you're a manager, help you manage more effectively. If you have any questions, if you need any advice, please feel free to contact me. Go through the web, email, however you want to do that. And as you know, you can get a free book from us by merely recommending or saying the magic word. And the magic word today is glasses. Just mention glasses in your email or in your telephone call. Mention the word glasses and I will get you a free book if you qualify. So what am I going to talk about today? Well, I'm going to talk about the end of the year. I was in a few stores this weekend and I noticed that they're ready for Christmas. And if not Christmas, definitely Thanksgiving, Halloween. So they're definitely, if they're ready for Christmas, what should that tell you? That should scare you. Because right now you're at the end of the year. You're at your end of the year. And you need to make sure that you are prepared to close deals now. So there are a couple of things you have to think about. Not only are you in the business of closing right now, because that's obvious, and you've got to clean out your pipeline right away so that you know what you really have. But second, and perhaps more important, you got to rebuild that pipeline right now. Because everything you do today really affects what's going to happen in January, February, March. This is what I see, and I see it all the time. January, February, March are usually weak months for salespeople. And it's not weak months because people aren't buying. It's because they have to continue to buy. It's weak months because you have not prospected now. You see, the fact of the matter is, as we get closer to the end of the year, it is more difficult to prospect. I, I'm going to grant you that. Well, you've got, if you think about it, you've got Labor Day. Nobody wants to talk about Labor Day. It's in the summer. You've got Halloween coming in. Well, I don't want to talk about Halloween. We've got Thanksgiving. Everybody's busy. And then you've got Christmas, which is like forever. So when are you going to prospect? Because you know you're going to get people who you're going to call and they're going to be, well, you know, we've got the Halloween party or the Christmas party. I've never been invited to a Christmas party, but everybody else has. I don't know, are there really Christmas parties? And you believe that you can't call anybody during that two weeks, Christmas to New Year's. Oh, you can't call anybody. Nobody's in. That's not true. They are. But they're going to hide from you. So what do you got to do? Today, Today, you have to prospect. Today, you have to pick up your phone or write your email or write your letter or do your mail. Whatever it is you're going to do, you have to prospect today. Now, one very successful thing that I've been recommending to people is to go back to your existing customer base. Call five people that you know already. And if you don't want to ask them for business, which I don't know why you would not, at least ask them for referral. Hey, John, you know, we work together in May. Is there anybody I should give a call? They're in, so they understand that. So I want you to follow through today on two things. One is to make two calls, five calls, I'm sorry, to two, five calls, to beat people who have bought from you in the past. The second I want you to do is get referrals. Now, I asked a group of people the other day, are you asking for referrals? I was up in their location. And they said, well, you see, here's the problem. As soon as I hear that, that I know there's going to be a whole thing, a whole litany of excuses. Here's the problem. The problem, they said, is that we have very relationship sales, and it's kind of awkward to ask for referrals. Well, and it's pretty awkward to close the sale. I guess they called you, and they said they wanted to buy. You didn't have to do much, so what's the big deal about getting a referral? Yes? No? Well, I want you to ask for referrals. And there's a way to do it that's very important. Very important. The way I ask for referrals is I take an index card, three by five index card, and I take it out of my pocket of my coat and I hold it. So I hold it and I hold it. And I say, is there someone else I should call? No, this is in person. Is there someone else I should call? And because I have the card out, because I have my pen out, it signals to them that what they're going to tell me is important. You need to do the same thing. You need to signal to the person you're talking to that what they're saying is important and the referral that they're giving you is important. And in fact, it is. It is important to you. So I want you to do that. So two things today we're going to do. 
Number one is, or maybe three, number one is we're going to reach out to our existing client base. Existing customers who have bought from you before who maybe have forgotten that you're still out there. Number two, you're going to ask for referrals from that existing base. And number three, you're going to prospect for new people because you know that if you don't start today prospecting today, your January, February, and March will be an extended holiday of the holidays. You can take off then, eh, take off Christmas, take off January, take off February, take off March, and come back to work and see how the year ends next year. Well, anyway, that's my story for today. Give some thought to it. If you like it, tell me. If you don't like it, tell me. But more importantly, at least try something new. Something new today. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait for the end of the year. Remember, use the keyword classes glasses if you want to try to get a book and the book that we're sending out is the big bang which is one of my favorite books if you need help call me reach out to me email me say hey you can help me or i can help my company whatever it is you want to do all right so this is steve schiffman i want to thank you for joining me today and as always you humble me by your attendance <laughs>